There are plans underway to transform the former building that housed the town council into a new museum, which will help to attract visitors to the town. The idea of the museum came about from a Swiss professor who traveled from South Africa doing his personal research. Uh, when he arrived in Osakos, he was stunned by the railway and the ruins in Osakos. So he decided to confront the town council on creating a community museum for Osakos. And then they started their creed and they started with research and they started collecting pictures from uh, old women, four women in particular, who lived in the old location. And then they started with creating a photographic exhibition, which is mounted in the old colonial building. And then from there, we started doing research. And 2015, we started together with the Swiss students and University of Namibia students in researching the Prada project. And, and then, like, we created the exhibition, the exhibition went viral. The exhibition was exhibited in Cape Town, Johannesburg, and then it traveled to the US, Papidos, and China, and all that. So the exhibition really changed the image of Sagos. It marketed to Sagos in, internationally and all that. And now we are busy um, doing further research and creating the museum. We are hoping to open in August 2021. We are actually appealing to the community and like others, international community, the local community, to contribute towards the project uh, by giving old artifacts, uh, sharing information, and all those kind of things. Um, the building was built in 1908. Uh, it was turned to a, into a national monument in 2018, it celebrated the century in 2018. So it's a national heritage for, for Usakos as well. It used to be an old train station back in the days. And that's why the building is so huge. It's celebrated in Usakos. It's like, a, it's like the image of Usakos, together with the water towers up in the water. We, we are planning on putting in more exhibitions, artifacts, and all that. Uh, we'll have a library, uh, we'll have a cafe, um, we are, we'll have a train in front of the building. There's an old locomotive. We are thinking of placing it in front of the building. It will just not be a museum, but it will be an educational hub for our local learners as well, uh, whereby they will use the free internet for their homeworks, the whereby they will use the library to do their homework and all that. And that was like us to please contribute towards the project and be supportive towards the project as well. Uh, not just the locals, but then just to add a bit, we also had a interview recently with late Ethiopian Kurab's wife, whereby she 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 intended to like contribute towards the project and especially to the library. She will donate all the books he used to read and all that. And then we also had an interview with him just before he passed on. And that was like a beautiful interview we had with him. So those are memories we kept in the museum and some of the ideas we'll exhibit in the museum as well. With its approximately 3,000 inhabitants, the bustling hive of activity in Usakos' streets in the morning are quite something to behold.